Hello there. I'm coming to you from the Animation Academy in Burbank, California. Beautiful Burbank, California. And I don't know if you know this or not, but here's a little bit of Burbank trivia. And there's something here called the happiness meter. And I read, read it in the paper uh, every year or two. The local paper and uh, the happiness meter here in Burbank is, believe it or not, about 93 or 94 percent. Which means that about 93 to 94 percent of the people are happy being here. Either happy, very happy, or extremely happy being in Bur Burbank, California. And why not? You know, Burbank is, um, you know, home to uh, Walt Disney and Warner Brothers and Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon and uh, Universal and, you know, DreamWorks is right next door. And uh, The Simpsons and Bob's Burgers is not is next next block over from where I'm at, so it's a fantastic place to be. It's very uh, vibrant and creative, and um, it's a fantastic town to live in. If you have to be in the LA area, boy, I just really wouldn't want to live anyplace else but Burbank. So the Animation Academy is here, and we've been here since 1998. And I'm going to do something different tonight I'm gonna to do something that I have never done before and that is give a lecture on uh, you know give a recorded lecture um, off of my computer so if I have some rough patches I hope that you'll be patient with me because um, not quite used to this but I have something interesting an idea an interesting idea I'd like to uh, share with you and that is I've got an idea to do something called, oops, let's get a color there, share the lesson. And I am your host, Charles Zambillis, spelled Z-E-M. B-I-L-L-A-S. There we go. And um, I'd be happy to hit, give you my history in the animation business, and maybe I'll do that in a little, another video because it's going to take up a lot of time. But just trust me, I've kind of been around for a long time. Kind of know what I'm talking about. So uh, one thing I have, I would like to share with you, I have been on a campaign to have my name pronounced correctly all my whole life and you know what I think it's working because I hear more people say my name correctly than incorrectly uh, as of late and um, Zimbilis is how you say it and it's Greek in origin and I'm very happy and proud about that and I'm coming to you from the United States so I'm happy and proud about being an American as well so anyway um, Here's what, I have in, I, here's what I have in mind for Share the Lesson. I have a student. I've been doing online classes for several months now. And I want to share with you the work of one of my students. This is Mario. I mean, that's not Mario, you know, but it's Mario. The picture is, is not Mario. It's his core drawing that he did when he first started, uh, his primal drawing when he first started in a class uh, here at our entry level class called Character Design 1. And what I like to do is I like to work with my students, incoming students, and have them do a drawing, usually of a teddy bear. Just do a little teddy bear, however, you know, the idea, the thought of it moves you. And um, we look back at it, we use this drawing as a gauge to see where you're going to be at the end of the class. And um, it really works out great because this is what Mario was doing without any. Uh, instruction or input from me, just raw. This is where he started with Character Design 1 on June 13th, 2016. It's currently September 1st, 2016. And Mario's finished Character Design 1 and he's in Character Design 2 right now. He's getting close to wrapping that up. And I want to show you where Mario is at currently. That's what Mario is doing now. Really something. His growth is really something else. He's a very talented artist based in Northern California. Uh, the Sacramento area and 
what I'm doing, what I, the way that I work with Mario and my other online students is they turn in their assignments, and then what I do is I have a, um, one of the things I do is I create an overlay to help them to see areas within their composition that they could improve in. So the red line here that you see is my overlay, and I work with him a little bit to kind of um, hit some areas here and here and just show them like, you know, maybe expanding the head a little bit. This little symbol here involves the chest, arm, torso relationship, and oftentimes that can create something that's called a tangent in your design. And by separating and overlapping, you can kind of resolve that issue. This shoulder here was getting a little weak. We shorted up the face a little bit more and kind of slimmed down those hips. He was getting a little puffy in the hips, and you want to, you know, just have a smooth, smoother transition into the thigh. And uh, pretty much uh, the same thing here. And uh, kind of shoring up the sketch a little bit more. Here's the before. And here's the after. Okay. Enhances uh, his concepts. Remember, what he's do doing right now is, I just want to remind you that, you know, what we're doing right now is just trying to figure out what the character looks like and not what the character is doing. So that was his assignment. And then we went into the face a little bit and worked out, you know, widening out, spreading out the facial features, um, focusing on different methods of describing the nose, separating the eyes a little bit. What we do in character design 2 as opposed to character design 1 is um, character design 1 is more oriented towards developing classic animated characters and character design 2 is taking that that information and knowledge and experience from character design 1 and expanding it into doing characters that are based on the proportions of the human body. And this is something that I did with him uh, a couple weeks ago, his concept sketches for characters, and then I short up the, let's see, I think it might be this layer here, yes, I short up, um, you know, just kind of solidified everything a little bit more and you know gave each composition more of a commitment to form and structure and then over here on the right I uh, created my interpretation of what Mario was trying to achieve right here we have an interesting character that he was developing and I did my version here of how I see his character to pull it into, you know, like a, you know, just an area where we can commit to things like the hanky that's around his, uh, the, the, his neck, the, you know, bandana that's around his neck, giving it solidity and form and simplifying the face and making a, a commitment to areas where the light and the shadow are separated into, you know, distinct areas. And right here, uh, what I did here was I did a straight out interpretation of Mario's concept for his character. And I, he was getting kind of boxing the torso and I kind of tapered that a little bit towards the waist, uh, reinforced the structure of the composition, kind of made the stance of the feet a little bit more believable, worked the hand a little bit more, and uh, again, you know, just gave a little quick little reminder about how to, a more effective way of pl placing the feet in the composition simplifying and focusing on basic, you know, rudimentary core shapes. And this is right here is uh, another recent drawing that he did. And in this particular instance, there's my initial sketch, my initial overlay to kind of, you know, flush out problem areas, get a little bit more of a fluidity going in the legs, more solid structure. And then a couple of notes here that I made where I recommended coming in at the knee a little bit more, coming and just establishing a more interesting contour for the leg, uh, method, a method of expanding this upper area here into something that might be a little bit more powerful and dominating by locking into the waist and expanding uh, the shape of the uh, of the upper torso, and then ex describing, you know, introducing what, what's called an S-curve into the design to kind of tie everything together and give it fluidity, you know, pushing an, an, the issue of the triangle as opposed to the box, and again, emphasizing the S-curve. Okay, great. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. 
I want to thank Mario for giving me the opportunity of sharing this lesson with all you out there, all you talented artists who are looking to improve upon your art. This is episode number one of Share the Lesson. I'll get it out there, see how it goes. And uh, if you like it, we'll do more. Okay, well, I enjoy this, so I'm going to do more anyway. So, anyway, thanks everybody for watching, and um, hope you find this helpful. You can uh, subscribe to the Animation Academy on YouTube, and you can also like us on Facebook. Thanks, and uh, see you again soon, and don't forget to keep creating.